Steve Popper. Hey, Tom, after the first half RJ had, it looked like Julius uh, early on in the third looked for him a couple, uh, I think two consecutive open threes and kind of got him going. You happy to see that kind of uh, looking to get him, get him started? Yeah, and that's, and that's what Julius has done all year. He, it's, and, and he didn't score the ball like he usually does, but he made plays for us. And he has great awareness of what's going on in the game. And he gets people going. And so, uh, RJ in the second, he got a great rhythm going. He's been shooting a three great for us. You know, we've got to continue to do that. But uh, Julius can beat you a lot of different ways. He can beat you with the pass. He can beat you with his rebounding, with the post up, shooting the three, going off the dribble. Uh, he and Derek have really good co uh, chemistry in the pick and roll, as does Alfred and, and, uh, and Julius. So we can give you different looks with that. Uh, but just making the right plays, uh, trust the pass, trust your teammates, and that's what this team has done well. And I'd li I thought our defense in the second half was was much better. Furman? Yeah, the defense in the second half on the three-point line, I mean, obviously 13 and 19 in the first half. What would you tell the guys uh, at intermission? Yeah, no, and, you know, I like the way we started the game and then we sort of got in a lull and they were cracking us pretty good off the dribble uh, and then they, you know, they were spraying it out and they were, they got good rhythm threes. And so uh, I thought we, uh, we contained the dribble better. We made better effort. We moved on the flight of the ball. We challenged shots uh, and that's what you have to do against them. They, they can spread you out pretty good. Uh, there's versatility to their, uh, to their lineup. You know, they, they have the two point guards. Uh, they can spread you out with uh, Washington and Bridges you know, at the four and five, they get five shooters on the floor. Uh, McDaniel's very good putting it on the floor. So uh, you have to be able to close out, play both shot and drive. Uh, and then you, we got to be in the gaps. And I thought we were better at it in the second half than we were the first. Rebecca Harlow. Coach, when teams in this league go on win streaks like this, which is obviously hard to do, especially when there are teams looking to knock you guys off with the playoff race, et cetera, it seems like confidence grows exponentially. Are you feeling that with this group? Yeah, and the thing is, the important thing I think for us is not to get lost. And you start thinking about down the road, the playoffs, win streaks, and you lose focus on getting ready for Atlanta. And that's where our focus has to be. We just go day by day, step by step. Uh, and if we're taking care of all the things we need to take care of, the, all the other stuff will take care of itself. Uh, and it's easy uh, to get knocked off course. And you can't do that. Your, your focus and your concentration are everything. And that's what gives you your intensity. And so uh, we have to make sure that we don't get lost and we stay focused on what's in front of us. Christian Winfield. Hey, Coach, circling back to what you said about Julius, I feel like even if it wasn't a score or a direct assist, sometimes he was able to manipulate the defense in a way that would allow him to get those hockey assists, where he'd be able to hit maybe Derek, who then could make that pass to the corner to hit. I think one time he hit RJ, another time he hit Reggie. Just what does it do for you to have a player who can make those reads and kind of see what the defense is going to do before it actually does it? Uh, you're making a great point. And that, that's the beauty of his game, because you could use him so many different ways and he can, he can rebound and bust out with it. And I love when he does that. It, it, we can play with pace and he can go dribble hand off. He, he can flow in, into a pitch and follow. He can make the pitch back. Uh, then you can play the pick and roll game with him. You can play the post up game. There's so many different things you can do with him. Uh, and his unselfishness and his commitment to make everyone around him, uh, you know, the best that they can be. And we have a team that's doing that, that they're trusting the pass, they're sharing the ball, uh, they're playing hard for each other, they're doing the same thing defensively. Uh, and that's what it takes for us to be a successful team. We have time for two more questions. Bruce Beck. Tom, honestly, when you took over the reins this year, did you think you had the components to at some point have a seven game winning streak, the longest in seven years for this franchise? You know, I, I never really look at it that way. I did think we would be able to become successful if we did the right things. Uh, understanding, I think, what goes into winning. And if you go step by step, and as I mentioned, the, the bubble was very beneficial towards uh, for us just in terms of getting to know all the players and starting to put the system in. 
but just seeing the commitment that they were willing to make. And then I thought it was important for us to go step by step, be a great practice team first and start there. And once you do that, you, you have, if you practice well, you'll play well. Mark Berman. Uh, you mentioned Atlanta and they're in fourth place, home court position. How big would that be for this franchise to get that number four spot? And how did they turn it around? Well, I think they, they've gotten healthier. That, that would be one, one thing. And they're a very explosive team. And so I think we have to be ready in, in terms of, you know, all the other stuff about positioning. Playoffs. I just want us to be focused on Atlanta and knowing what we're going to need to do uh, to win. And you go step by step, and we know that they've played very well. Uh, you know, since the All-Star break, maybe, you know, right before the All-Star break, they started turning. And they had uh, any team that has Young on it, and they put so much pressure on you, the athletic, quick, can go off the dribble. So, we, you know, we're going to have to be ready again. Every night you're challenged. And the important thing 